Although many of the central members of Shinsengumi appear in Gintama, there is one person who doesn't. He is Yamanami Keisuke. And welcome to Let's Ask Shogo. If Gintama is how you got to know about Shinsengumi, then we are already buddies. Yes, in Gintama, my favorite manga, there is a group called Shinsengumi that appears as quite an important role in the story. The association is a group of samurai that actually existed in the history of Japan during the turbulent time of westernization in the 19th century. Of course, the comedy parts of Kondo being a stalker and always naked, Shijikata being a cigarette and mayonnaise addict, and Okita being extremely sadistic are not real. But there are some parts, the Gintama Shinsengumi and the real Shinsengumi surprisingly have in common. So today, as a big fan of this group, I will explain about the accurate and inaccurate points of Gintama Shinsengumi. This video will be perfect for you to enjoy both the real history of Japan and the manga Gintama more. And even if you get confused somewhere during the middle, that's okay. I will wrap everything up again at the end of the video in today's conclusion. So first, before we suddenly start talking about the accurate and inaccurate points, I would like to very briefly explain about the history of the real Shinsengumi for those of you who don't know about them. The 250 years of peace during the Edo period was realized due to many clever political measures to keep people in their place, like restricting trade and movement to other countries. However, in 1853, when the U.S. Navy came to Japan with their battleships and latest weaponry to force Japan to open their ports, the shogunate easily obeyed them and signed an unfair treaty. Some of the samurai clans were dissatisfied with the shogunate's cowardly actions, and they started rebellions and terrorist acts to overthrow the government. The situation was chaotic, and the shogunate needed more men to guard them against those who were trying to attack them. This is when a group of men who were originally peasants or low-class samurai trained in swordsmanship were gathered in Kyoto to protect public order. They all had ambitions of becoming a noble samurai and to fight for the shogunate. So this was a miraculous chance they dreamed of for a long time. With Kondo as the chief, Hijikata as the sub-chief, and Okita as the captain of the first squad, they eventually became a government official police association called Shinsengumi. Shinsengumi played an active part in stopping a terrible terrorist act, in which the plan was to kidnap the emperor and set fire in Kyoto, and they became more and more powerful and well-known throughout Japan. However, once the samurai clans performing rebellions formed alliances to cooperate with each other, they became so powerful that they were able to convince the imperial court to give them the right to start the new westernized Meiji government. With the loss of connection with the imperial court, the old shogunate and Shinsengumi were now the terrorists. After all that Shinsengumi had sacrificed and done for the country, they were betrayed and abandoned by the shogunate as worthless soldiers. Kondo was captured and decapitated, Okita died from a disease, and Hijikata was shot on the battlefield as the last man of Shinsengumi. Shinsengumi is still famous among Japanese people as the story of the heroic but tragic lives of men who lived and died with Bushido. If you'd like to know more about the story, please take a look at my other video that I made about Shinsengumi. Then, let's start from taking a look at the four points that Gintama Shinsengumi and the real Shinsengumi have in common. One, 
近藤土方、and、Okita originally trained in the same dojo. 2. The Kyokuchu Hatto existed. 3. Okita is super strong. 4. Hijikata was called Baragaki Oni no Fukucho. 1. Kondo, Hijikata, and Okita originally trained in the same dojo. In its golden age, Shinsegumi is said to have had about 200 members. But the leaders, such as the chiefs and the captains of each squad, were all originally training together in the countryside area called Tama of Edo. There was a Kenjutsu dojo called Shiegan that taught the Tengen Nishinryu of swordsmanship. Today, there's only a monument of where the dojo Shiegan used to be, but the sword style Tengen Nishinryu is still widely. Practice today. When Kondo was 14 years old, he entered Shiegan. And just a year after entering the dojo, he had fully mastered the skills. And he was adopted by his dojo master. Meanwhile, Hijikata was wandering from one dojo to another to train different styles, while also working as a merchant selling his family's medicine. One day, his brother in law enters Shiegan and they create a training area in their home. The instructor that came to teach him swordsmanship there was Kondo. By the way, by the time Hijikata entered Shiegan, a nine year old boy, Okita, who had lost his parents, had already entered Shiegan too. Okita's family had lost their parents and his older siblings. Could not afford him anymore, so they sent him to Shiegan to be taken care of. This is how, when the shogunate recruited warriors to protect the shogun in Kyoto, all three of the most important men of Shinsengumi were already in one place. In Gintama, this is a setting that is revealed in the Mitsuba arc. 2. The Kyokuchu Hatto existed. During the episodes of Gintama, Shinsengumi often talks about Kyokuchu Hatto, the laws within Shinsengumi, and that anyone who violates the rules will be sentenced to seppuku. Although in Gintama it is used as a kind of joke, and no one actually commits seppuku, these rules actually existed in the real Shinsengumi. And some studies say that there were about 50 men that really had to kill themselves because of it. However, the real Kyokuchu Hatto only had five items. One, do not act against Bushido. Two, withdrawal from Shinsegumi is prohibited. Three, do not steal or borrow money. Four, do not take part in others' litigation. Five, do not fight for personal purposes. So, you can read Jump if you want to and use your phones during a meeting. You might have thought that these rules are super strict, having to kill yourself by breaking just a few rules. However, back in the samurai era, these rules were quite common among all samurai clans. That's why becoming a ronin was considered a crime. But then, why is Kyokuchu Hatto so famous? It wasn't the rules that were special. But the fact that a group of men who were originally peasants made these rules and were following them. Officially announcing these rules was their resolution that they were not low rank peasants anymore, but were now noble samurai. 3. Okita is super strong. In Gintama, Okita is surely the strongest swordsman among Shinsengumi characters. I am in love with Okita's fighting scenes. If you are too, let me know which scene is your favorite. Actually, Okita in real life is also said to be one of the top three strongest men in Shinsengumi 2. Okita, after entering Shiekan when he was nine years old, he soon began to show his natural talent. And even as a child, he was able to fight evenly with adults. He reached full proficiency at the youngest age among all the other students and also became the head of the dojo. 
There are records of people like the captain of the second squad, Nagakura Shinpachi, saying, If Okita and his instructor Kondo seriously fought each other, Okita would probably win. An imperial court official also said, Out of Kondo's subordinates, Okita is the strongest swordsman. 4. Hijikata is called Oni no Fukucho and Maragaki. In Gintama, Hijikata is called the Oni no Fukucho, which means devil subchief. But the real Hijikata is referred to as this name too. This is because it is believed that Hijikata was a logical and cold hearted person who did not hesitate to even kill his own members of Shinsengumi as a way to keep order within the group. However, this was not because Hijikata was a bad person, but because Shinsengumi was originally just a group of low ranked commoners, and some of them were just barbaric men who wanted a chance to just swing swords and attack others. In order to bring such an organization together as a noble police association, Hijikata needed to apply strict rules within the group, and sometimes make cruel decisions of killing those who would threaten the order within Shinsengumi. What's funny though is that although Hijikata strictly controlled those who didn't obey the rules, he himself was quite a troublemaker when he was young. This is expressed in the Baragaki arc of Gintama. Baragaki means a boy with thorns like a rose, which expresses a bad boy. For example, when he was young, he was once sent to a draper to work, but there he caused trouble with women and even punched his boss's face because he was irritated. Maybe because he was once a Baragaki himself, he was able to control those within the group. Next, let's take a look at the four inaccurate points of Gintama Shinsengumi. One, their names are all slightly different. Two, they were not based in Kabuki, but in Kyoto. Three, Okita doesn't have a weak constitution. Four, Yamanami Keisuke doesn't appear in the story. One, their names are all slightly different. This is something that confuses a lot of Japanese people too, but all of the Shinsengumi members' names are slightly different. When you like Gintama too much like I do, you tend to forget what the real names of the members were. Let me list the names of the famous characters of Gintama Shinsengumi and their real names. Kondo Isao, Kondo Isami, Hijikata Toshiro, Hijikata Toshizo, Okita Sogo, Okita Soshi, Yamazaki Sagaru, Yamazaki Susumu, Saito Shimaru, Saito Hajime, Ito Kamotaro, Ito Kashitaro. What's funny is the names of Yamazaki Sagaru and Saito Shimaru because their first names have the opposite meanings of their real names. Susumu means to move forward, and Sagaru means to move backwards. Hajime means the beginning, and Shimaru means the ending. Also, Ito Kamotaro is very interesting, because this character is actually a combination of two real members of Shinsengumi, Serizawa Kamo and Ito Kashitaro. They took the Kamo from Serizawa Kamo, and Ito Taro from Ito Kashitaro. By the way, just like Ito Kamotaro in the Shinsengumi arc of Gintama, both Serizawa Kamo and Ito Kashitaro were killed by Shinsengumi members as traitors. 2. They were not based in Kabuki, but in Kyoto. In Gintama, Shinsengumi are working as a police association in Kabukicho, where the Yorosia is located. Kabukicho is a district that still exists in Japan today, as a popular entertainment district that is well known as a night spot for adults. However, the real Shinsengumi members were from the Edo area, but they were protecting the city of Kyoto. There are still some temples and buildings that are left, 
which were originally used as military stations by the Shinsengumi right here in Kyoto. By the way, I've actually visited one of the most famous Shinsengumi related temples, Ibudera, with my family in the Kyoto Hidden Gem series. So I hope you can take a look at that video too. 3. Okita doesn't have a weak constitution. Earlier, I've explained that Okita was a very strong swordsman in both Gintama and in real life. But one point that was different in real life was that Okita actually had a very weak constitution, and he died in his early 20s due to a disease. If you watch any drama or movie about Shinsengumi, there will 100% be a scene where Okita suddenly coughs out blood in the middle of a fight. I didn't know about this until I did some research, but it seems that Mitsuba, the older sister of Okita in Gintama, carries on this characteristic of having a weak constitution. This is why Mitsuba is very sick and coughs out blood at the climax of the arc story. By the way, Okita did really have an older sister called Mitsu, not Mitsuba, but she was a very powerful woman that carried on her family's name after they'd lost their parents and lived until she was 75 years old. Also, for those of you who love the Mitsuba arc just like I do, Hishikata in real life did have a very beautiful fiancé back in his home city. However, Hijigata wanted to achieve something big while he was alive, so he asked her to wait for him until he returns, which of course did not happen due to the loss of the wars and Hijigata's death on the battlefield. 4. Yamanami Keisuke doesn't appear in the story Although many of the central members of Shinsengumi appear in Gintama, there is one person who doesn't, even though he was a very important man of the squad. He is Yamanami Keisuke, who also trained at Shiekan together with Kondo, Hishigata, and Okita, and was the secretary general, a leader third from the top of the whole group. Why doesn't such an important man appear in Kingdama? As far as I did some research, I couldn't find the answer. If you know anything about it, please let me know. Yamanami Keisuke's story is known as quite a sad and tragic one. Earlier, when I explained about the Kyokuchu Hatto, the second rule was prohibiting the withdrawal from the Shinsengumi ride. Yes, he was one of the men who violated this rule and was sentenced to seppuku. He left Shinsengumi one day and ran away from the military stations. Okita, who had a very friendly relationship with him, was sent by Kondo to find him. And when he was caught, he did not run and accepted his death. Yamanami-san, what are you doing here? Why did you try to run away? Don't worry, I'll talk to Hijikata-san and we'll find a way to keep you alive. No, Okita, it's okay. I must obey the laws. I'm willing to commit to seppuku. There are many theories about why he took such a reckless action, but it is mainly believed that he could not get along with Hijikata and his strict ways of controlling the members, and he wanted to commit seppuku to appeal his will to the chief, Kondo. Kondo, by the way, didn't send a whole group of men to find Yamanami, but only Okita on purpose, because if Okita couldn't find him, Kondo would have an excuse to let Yamanami go. From this, you can tell that in his heart, he didn't want to kill one of his most trusted men. Okita was assigned as the helper, who would cut Yamanami's head off after he commits seppuku. And this is how this story is known as a sad event in Shinsengumi. Then lastly, today's conclusion. Shinsengumi was a police association of formal low-ranked commoners who were gathered in Kyoto to protect the shogun through the chaotic time of westernization in the 19th century. Shinsengumi left many accomplishments of preventing horrible terrorist attacks. 
However, once their enemies established a new government under the imperial court, they were the ones now regarded as terrorists and were even betrayed by the shogun they were fighting to protect. Shin Sengumi is now known as a heroic but tragic group among the Japanese people and is still very famous today. The four points that Gintama Shin Sengumi and the real Shin Sengumi have in common are 1. Kondo, Hijikata, and Okita originally trained in the same dojo. Kondo, Hijikata, and Okita, and many of the captains of Shin Sengumi were all originally training in the same dojo in Edo called Shieka. 2. Kyokuchu Hatto existed. The strict Kyokuchu Hatto with five items existed, and there were actually about 15 men that had to commit seppuku or die because of it. 3. Okita is super strong. Okita was well known for being one of the strongest men of Shinsengumi. 4. Hijikata was called Baragaki Oni no Fukucho. Hijikata was a strict and cold hearted man that would do anything to keep order within Shinsengumi, but he himself was quite a troublemaker at a young age. The four inaccurate points of Gintama Shinsengumi are 1. Their names are all slightly different. Be careful not to say the names in Gintama when you're referring to the real Shinsengumi. 2. They were not based in Kabuki, but in Kyoto. The real Shinsengumi worked as a police association in Kyoto and not in Kabuki City in Tokyo. There are many military stations and temples that they used, which are still left in Kyoto. 3. Okita does not have a weak constitution. Okita actually had a very weak constitution and died at a very young age due to a disease. In Gintama, his sister carries on this characteristic in the Mitsuba arc. 4. Yamanami Keisuke doesn't appear in the story. Yamanami Keisuke was in third from the top of the whole group. However, he violated the rule of Kyokuchu Hatto by trying to run away from the military station. No one knows for sure why he did so, but it is widely believed that it is because he was against Hijikata's strict way of controlling the group, and he wanted to commit seppuku to express his last will. So that's it for today, thank you very much for watching. If you thought, my only is got in please hit the like button to let me know. And my goal is to achieve 1 million subscribers by January 2023, so your help is what I need. In this channel, you can take a closer look at Japanese traditional culture, tips on travel to Kyoto, and social problems in Japan. So learners and lovers of Japanese language and culture, be sure to subscribe and enjoy more content. And if you'd like to learn more about today's topic, please take a look at my sub-channel Shogo's podcast through the link inside the description box. I would like to talk about the reason why I love the manga Gintama so much. Thanks again, and I'll see you in my next video. Domo, arigatou gozaimashita!